Hey guys. Hey. 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 So. So the reason I look a little rough is because I just filmed the Coyote Ugly Bad movie review and I like couldn't get all my makeup off. My face is crazy irritated right now. I used these wipes from Pacifica. <laughs> Garbage. Anyway, I'm excited for today. I have a good old fashioned beauty video. I got a ton of drugstore stuff. Sorry, I'm super itchy. Ton of drugstore stuff. I got a package from Koki. I got a package from Makeup Revolution. And then I personally bought everything that Maybelline makes. Not really, but seriously, I went a little crazy at Target the other day. Like once or twice a year, I do like a big drugstore purchase and a big like high-end purchase. So I got lots of goodies here. No, 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 don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Please don't make me get out of this chair. Okay, the first thing I wanna try out, I'm so excited about. I heard Katie Jane Hughes talk about this and you guys know like anything she says is gospel to me when it comes to beauty. This is the Waleda Skin Food, the original ultra rich cream. It's a potent plant extract formula that intensively nourishes is dry skin. Her skin always looks like the most glowing, beautiful thing on this planet. I'm very dry. This is from the drugstore, so I can't wait. Oh, it smells like a lot of my K-Beauty products. <gasps> my palm is still red from mixing colors on there. I don't know how much to use. Maybe this much? Oh my gosh. It's almost a little greasy. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, so I cannot wait to tell you this really barfy story that happened to me. If you're squeamish and like easily grossed out, just don't watch this video. Actually, before I tell you that story, I just wanna like get into some of what I got. I was originally just gonna pick up some of my like go-to staples that I love so much, like the Super Stay Foundation, the Pixie Eye Define Waterline Eyeliner. Then I saw this. <laughs> Stop it, so cute. And then I just noticed all this fun stuff for Maybelline I had never tried before, like these Color Strike Cream to Powder eyeshadow pens. I don't know, is that new? These glosses look delicious and they remind me of like the KKW or Kylie glosses. I got a Super Stay Ink Crayon. Fun. Got a couple of their lip liners, which I already know I love, but you know, I guess I didn't really get that much. It seemed like a lot to me. So anyway, I'm gonna use Super Stay today. I've been out of it for a while. I've been dying to use it again. I love this foundation so much. It's just a little matte for me. So I feel like with this very moisturizing stuff, it's gonna be glorious. I got three shades because I like to mix and match. I'll be using this amazingly delicious brush from Sigma, the F47 Multitasker. I really hope I talked to you guys about this in my favorites video a few weeks ago because it's amazing. Anyway, gosh, get to the story. Okay, story time. A couple days ago, I went downstairs to do laundry in my basement. I put some clothes in the wash and I noticed my basement smelled like poop. And I mean literal Poop. Not like when someone says, oh, it smells like poop when it actually just smells bad. I mean, it literally smelled like someone went downstairs and pooped on my basement floor. And I told Nick about it. He dumped like some bleach water down the little drain that was in the floor and we just kind of moved on. You know, didn't stress about it too much. Oh my gosh, this foundation, amazing. Anyway, so Nick went downstairs later that day to get the clothes out of the dryer that I had washed. And he called me downstairs and I was really annoyed because I was trying to eat my grilled chicken breast for the fifth time that week. I had just gotten a magnesium infusion at the doctor so I was like real sluggish and like tired and I just wasn't in the mood to go downstairs and smell whatever he wanted me to smell. <laughs> he's holding the clothes that he got out of the jar and he's like please smell them. They smell so bad and I was like I don't want to, I don't want to. I was kind of crabby you know and he's like babe smell them please and I hate when he, <sighs> anyway. So I was like fine and I took some of the clothes and I mean I got my face all up in these clothes, took a big whiff. I was like Anyway, they smelled bad and it was really weird because I knew I had just done laundry that day and I was like, maybe I left them in the washer too long. Like, you know how if you leave clothes in the washer a little too long, they can just kind of get like a sour smell? I felt like maybe it was that, but in the back of my mind, I knew it was something weirder. It was like this really coppery smell, but I just, I didn't want to admit it. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that earlier the basement had smelled like poop. I was like, just rewash them, you know, it's fine. But Nick, you know, he trusts his own nose and thank goodness he did. So I went back upstairs, I'm eating my chicken breast and I heard him yell. And I mean, Nick does not yell. He just doesn't. I yell, he doesn't. And I heard him go, oh my gosh. And my heart started pounding. I was like, what did he find? Like the way this year has gone, any little hint of bad news, like I think somebody died. I think something terrible happened. Like I was so afraid for him to walk up those stairs. So he comes up from the basement 
through the mud room into the kitchen and his face just looked, I thought somebody had died. I don't know what, what I thought. And he goes, babe, there's a freaking possum in our dryer. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, you know, some of you guys watching this are probably gonna be like, Jamie, this is not that serious. This is not that dramatic. Dramatic person, I don't even have the energy to be dramatic, but it was so <laughs> dramatic when it was happening. I gotta remind you guys, if you're squeamish, don't listen to this, okay? I tried to tell you, remember that. Oh, I didn't buy a bronzer, did I? I'm just gonna use this MAC cream bronzer. So anyway, when he said that, I thought he meant like in the dryer drum, and I was thinking to myself, how did I throw clothes into that dryer without seeing a dead possum. But no, it was not in the drum. It was stuck in the back of the dryer where like that big tube connects to the back of your dryer. Like he crawled from outside where our dryer opening is down through the tube and almost got into the dryer, but the poor little guy got stuck. And Nick said he pulled the tube off the back cause he just had a feeling and the possum's tail was like, Boop. oh gosh, so horrible. And he said he was all swollen and rotting and just disgusting. I start freaking out, I'm like, how? How long has he been there? I have to tell myself he, he had just gotten there that day or maybe the night before, but I cannot allow myself to think that I've been drying clothes with him in there for like several days. I feel like if that were the case, I would have smelled him way sooner, but I don't know, I got a stuffy nose. Okay, I feel like the Waleda skin food feels good and everything, but I feel like it's making the super stay foundation super not stay, super leave. Anyway, Nick, of course, being a man is like, come see, come see, and I was like, no, I will not go see. First of all, I feel bad for the guy. I think possums are adorable. Oops. Better blend that before I get comments about my bronzer. I'm gonna try Koki's new translucent powder. I do have a code with Koki. A code... <laughs> they came out with face products. I'm excited to try this. Anyway, we just, we didn't know what to do because at that moment, I didn't think I could help him move the dryer out. I was, like I said, I was all lethargic from my magnesium infusion. Oh, um, and I also just wasn't willing to help. <laughs> I do not know why I did not want to see this dead possum. Like it was freaking me out so bad. Nick texted a couple guy friends that live close to us to see if they could help and none of them were available. <laughs> he had almost given up. Like he was thinking of maybe just leaving it in the basement, which I wasn't a fan of the idea, but I wasn't really sure what to do either. And then he talked to his mom. His mom was like, Nick, you cannot leave that thing down there. Like you have to do something. And we were like, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Wait, Revolution Scent Concealer. Ooh, I almost, it's the Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer, which I've tried before, but I think I, I think I liked the hydrating one. So anyway, I'm like, you know, she's making a good point. We can't leave this thing down here. I didn't want to, but what are we gonna do? You know, I didn't think I could help him lift a dryer, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to step it up because there's nobody that can help. We can't leave him there. It's up to me. He assured me that the dryer was super light and that, you know, I'm strong enough to be able to handle it. And I just, the more I saw like panic and stress consuming Nick, the more I was like, all right, I have to just suck it up and try to lift this dryer because Nick is just such a laid back person. If I see him having anxiety or anything, I know it's bad. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So he decided that before we moved the dryer, he was gonna try and pull the possum out. And guys, this is gross. Again, I gotta keep reminding you, if you're squeamish, don't listen. Before I could even get the words out, like, no, stop, don't. He tried to pull the possum out. I was just kind of watching him and he goes, oh God, his tail fell off. <laughs> Starts gagging. Oh God, I'm about to gag thinking about it. And then of course, since his tail fell off, he was bleeding. <laughs> So at this point, I mean, I shouldn't have been, but I was dying laughing. I couldn't contain myself. Nick's face was just so serious when the tail fell off. <laughs> I was, couldn't help it. I'm like, no, no, no. So we like grabbed a Walmart bag and a towel and like shoved it. the possum back in the hole. And I was like, all right, let's move the dryer. Let's do it, babe. Let's get it done. I'll help you. I'm a hero. <laughs> Ooh, the powder is so blurring, y'all. So Nick gets on one end of the dryer, I squat down, get on the other end, and I like lift with my legs, you know? And I'm like, okay, this is pretty light. Cool, I can do this. That lasted about two seconds because I was holding like the little bitty feet of the dryer. I really wasn't able to like, get my hands under the whole bottom of it just because of how we were angled and everything. I'm like trying to help Nick up the stairs, it's angled. And as he's going up the stairs, he kind of, <laughs> he had to like angle. The dryer, so the dead possum is right in my face. And I go, oh God, babe. And I kind of like tried to back up and then we dropped the dryer. Oh, it was so awful. And of course, like as heinous as all this is, I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, I was just begging him that whole way. Like, please do not let this thing fall out and touch me. I really like that this powder is not taking coverage away, you know? 
Can you get rid of my pores up here? When we get outside, I kind of felt like we were in the home stretch. And then I felt this little tiny like clunk inside of the dryer and I felt something touch my hand and I looked down and there's a huge frog, dead frog, that also fell out of the dryer. It was just laying on his back on my concrete. <laughs> And guys, I don't know if you know this about me, but I, I love all animals, okay? But I hate frogs. <laughs> like, I don't hate them. I would never want to hurt one. I think they're, I even think they're cute. Like, I love them. I hate frogs. I just do not want one to touch me or get me or jump on me or get me. I always just feel like they're gonna get me. <laughs> Girl, it was everything in my power to keep my composure when that freaking dead frog touched my hand. I'm gonna try this eyeshadow palette from Revolution. The Forever Flawless palette. Ooh, look at these fun little speckled colors. So our theory is that the possum was chasing the frog. The frog went into our dryer hole on the outside of the house. The possum followed after him, got stuck couldn't get out and either died of starvation or of me cooking him when I turned the dryer on, which I really hope it's not the latter. Needless to say, we learned our lesson. You know, the opening to the vent that, that leads outside on the side of our house, that's closed off now. The other end of the tube that goes into our basement, that's closed off now. The really fun part is that Nick went to go pick up a new dryer the next day. And I don't know why I thought this, but I thought you could like go to Home Depot and just buy a dryer. <laughs> Ours was old, we got it on Craigslist. Like it wasn't worth fishing the dead possum out of. So I was like, let's just get a new one. But you have to special order it. So we can't get a new dryer until like the 21st, which is why today I'm in a weird turtleneck. We're leaving soon for North Carolina, so I can't eat, you know, I'm wearing a turtleneck. That's what's happening. What time is it? I got to hurry. I wanna try this color strike thing. It looks super cool. Cream to, pa ooh, I like the little applicator. It's like a little, little ball, pointy ball. So anywho, that's my fun, gross barf ball city story. Ooh. This like doesn't even work. Dang it, Maybelline. I wanted people to think I was born with it. Hold on, maybe I'm judging it too harshly. It looks cute. It just, it says cream to powder. I think I was expecting just cream. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I can get it with my foot. I have faith. Have a little faith in my foot. You guys just don't understand how hard it is to get out of this chair. Anyway, so needless to say, the whole rest of the evening was spent just bleach mopping everything. And remember guys what I told you, which is that we both had our faces all up in those dead possum body clothes. I was so freaked out. I had to babysit my friend's kids the next day and I just felt like they were gonna get possum juice all over them. So I was just cleaning until 11 o'clock that night. Like it was rough. You know what? It's this. It's the reason I <laughs> the reason I keep dropping it is because when I go to dip it, it like springs out. This is so weird. It totally ruined like my whole plan of filming that day. So now I'm like behind schedule again. I swear every time I get ahead of schedule with filming, like something weird happens. Never could have predicted a possum, but you know what I mean? Something weird happens and I'm just always behind. I'm gonna use the nude whisper lip liner. You guys remember this? I used to use it a lot. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. Why am I doing this? I love this lip liner, don't get me wrong, but I wanna try out that crayon. Crayon. All right, my lips are looking big today. Let's get the, ooh, yeah. oh. Oh my God, I already love it so much. I love Maybelline. One time, like last year, or maybe the year before or something, I got so excited because they saw the Tiny Hands video and I had used like a couple of their products in the Tiny Hands video and they shared it on their Facebook page and they commented and I totally thought they were gonna like reach out to me. They were gonna maybe send me some products. I don't know. They didn't. <laughs> Why did I do that so incredibly crooked? Okay, so the product is fine and all, but I can't, sorry, I think I spoke too soon. I actually don't like this that much. Maybe I should just wait for it to dry down, but it's supposed to be matte and it's not matte, it's shiny, but not cute shiny. It's like just shiny enough to sh emphasize all my lines, you know? I don't know, let me do my brows real quick. It's been at least six months since I've waxed my eyebrows, but you know what? It's 2020 and I just don't feel bad about it. Oh, by the way, the lip color of the lip crayon is is called Lead the Way. It's called Lead the Way. I got a DM last night on Instagram from a subscriber named 
Sarah and she was like, what happened to that Q&A that you filmed? Like we all sent questions and that is a great question. That was supposed to go up last Friday. I loved all of your questions and I literally just could not post the video because I was so incredibly negative. I don't think I looked at the camera or smiled once. <laughs> Let's try this gloss. I'm so excited. It is the Maybelline Hyaluronic Acid Gloss in the shade Ice. Anyway, oh my gosh, like I tried editing it and I just halfway through, I was like, I'm not posting this. Ooh, smells good. I felt like every one of my answers was like a pity party. It was just, it was bad. But I screenshotted the questions and I'm going to redo it and not be, you know, such a Debbie Downer. I did not get a new mascara in any of these packages. So I'm gonna just use this Ofra one that I've been loving, the HD Volumizing Mascara. It's a little messy, like the tube gets a little messy, but it's like, it's good enough to where it's worth it to me. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about very briefly is more of just like a ask for your advice. If any of you out there are Apple people, Apple is in like Apple electronics, not like the fruit. I went to Best Buy two weeks ago to get a new laptop. I really didn't need one per se, but my MacBook Air that I bought last year. I didn't get one with enough storage and for the amount of video editing I do, I, I just needed something bigger, better, faster, stronger. And I ended up going with the MacBook Pro and I got like the biggest, baddest, fastest, strongest one. It had like the i9 processor. The salesman was going on and on about it. Even another customer that was standing there, which he may have been an actor. I don't know. But he was like, you cannot beat the i9 processor. Like if you're a video editor, it has the fastest rendering, all this stuff. It was a freaking $3,000 laptop. I did not want to do it. Nick was like pushing and pushing and pushing. He was like, you deserve it. You need it. You know, it's a business investment. All these dudes peer pressured me into getting it. It was okay at first. And then I noticed it was so freaking hot. I literally couldn't even touch it. Like it would burn my fingers constantly, even, even when it was closed and just sitting on the table. Boiling lava hot. And it it was freaking slow. Like I'd be in Final Cut Pro editing. Every time I would drag a clip down into my timeline, it would take like 10 seconds to render before I could scrub over it. It was just a nightmare. And so I was like, you know what? I got a defective one. I'm like, this is a $3,000 laptop. It's the best of the best. It's defective. So I tore my house apart, found the receipt, returned it. Really tempted to like downgrade, like just get a refund and then get a cheaper MacBook. I was like, I really don't need something this fancy. But again, everybody was like, no, 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 no. This one's defective. You need the i9 processor you need the terabyte of storage like look at what you're doing video editing takes you so long yada 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 so we did an even exchange got the same laptop got home guess what it does the same exact thing literally i use it for two seconds it is on fire like if my hand even touches like the little strip between like the keyboard and the actual screen if my hand even touches that it burns and it's freaking slow my macbook air that was half the price is faster i don't understand any of you are apple people tell me what i'm doing wrong please i don't want to go back to best buy and like deal with all that again i just want to edit myself into movies you know <laughs> without having it take 45 years oh girl i am getting i am getting so that. I just, I feel like every time I'm try, I am try to like upgrade my, you know, stuff, I always fail at it. Like for example, I've had these same two garbage $40 softbox lights the whole time I've been on YouTube, which is almost four years this October. And I finally was like, all right, it's time to spend the money. It's time to upgrade your lighting. So I did all this research. I read thousands of reviews. I asked other YouTubers what they use. You know, most people that I watch, their lights are crazy expensive expensive like Karen's light is six thousand dollars <laughs> Bailey's lights are like two three thousand dollars a piece like everybody is using these outrageously expensive lights Christy you know Robbie to Christy her lights that she got they are no longer available like I could I just couldn't find what I wanted and finally I found these amazing lights from the Aperture brand and again I read so many reviews I did so much research I was like this is it they're 600 bucks a piece which is still high but like nowhere near what I thought it was gonna be I ordered them on Amazon me and my assistant were setting them up and we realized that all I ordered was the dome that goes around the actual light and the actual light is two thousand dollars <laughs> all that research I did and all the reviews I read I just never dreamed that the light I was ordering wasn't a light like the title was called a light dome so i looking back i guess i should have known but i'm just stupid anyway guys i need an upgrade if you know anything about lighting and it's not gonna cost me two thousand dollars a light let me know 
you know? And you know, if that's just the way things are, and if I gotta freaking pay out the wazoo for good lights, you know, I will, but I just, I need to know for sure first that I'm doing the right thing. What did I do here? What? All right, guys, gotta go. I gotta pack for my trip. I'm not gonna even bother putting lashes on. Thanks for being here, for listening to my barfy story about my dead possum. I missed hanging out, chatting with you guys. Also, I pretty much liked everything I tried today. Oh, oh wait, one last thing. I wanna try this mattifying setting spray from Revolution. It's probably gonna give me dry skin around my nose, but when in Rome. <laughs> wait, let's test the mister first. Uh, I feel like if you spray it far away, it's not bad, but that's a little intense. Anyway, I think I liked everything I tried today. At first, I thought that that Waleda skin food was gonna make my foundation come off, but then the setting powder kind of saved the day and I look real smooth. Probably can't tell because of my lighting. All right, friends, love you all. See you in the next one. Bye. God, it's hot. It's really hot. How do you guys say crayon? Because I say crayon, like real Midwestern. Some people say crayon, like it's spelled, and my friend Amber says crayon. <laughs>